I actually don't really have anything to say. <laughs> I just kind of turned it on. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to say right now. Life. 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 Right now I'm s sitting under a lovely maple tree in a lovely park with lovely people and lovely children playing on the play lovely playground. And it's lovely. Just appreciating the now, just being aware. Aware of everything around me. Aware of myself. <clears throat> and I'm sitting here under the tree actually waiting for a veggie hot dog to be cooked up for me uh, and stuffed into a red pepper. A new hot dog guy has opened up on, uh, on the street around the corner from my house. Uh, I've been hoping for that for years. Uh, I don't eat meat, uh, well over a year now. And he does veggie stuff too. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm just kind of sitting here, waiting for my veggie hot dog. Just kind of taking it all in. <sighs> Lovely. We really are in heaven, aren't we? We've, we've either come to this place, or we've created this place, or whatever it is in these forms and it's all it's all at our fingertips before we can really accept it embrace it have fun with it enjoy it I guess first we have to work work on this eh? <laughs> Until we can each of us turn inward <clears throat> and embrace, embrace the now, embrace our true selves, that quiet place, come to some kind of understanding, acceptance. Then, um, until we do that, <clears throat> We're still going to be engaging in this wonderful, terrible, 
wonderful play that is life. And we're still going to be working against nature and drilling and constructing and building against what we have here instead of creating with it. And while I'm saying that, I might as well put it out there because I just had a random thought. Uh, any of you, if you haven't heard of the Venus Project, I highly recommend you go online and check out the Venus Project. I can't remember the man's name, but he's a total genius. And what he's done is he's created, and not just an idea, he's created top to bottom, designed the cities of the future, how we would build our cities so that we're not using fossil fuels, we're using what's available to us without um, depleting natural resources, so wind, solar, using materials that don't damage, that last, uh, designing cities, designing vehicles, designing planes, design he, he's designed the entire future really. And again, top to bottom, it's not a vague plan, it's, it's, he's actually designed them exactly how they would work, waste management, everything, he's designed it all to work with the planet. And to be renewable, meaning not to, I'm not sure what I'm saying right now, so forgive me if I'm not using the right words. Um, but basically things that, that will last, that, that don't, that, that aren't uh, depleting resources on the planet that can't be renewed. Uh, it's all stuff that just replenishes itself and that works with nature, even the, where, how they design the cities for maximum efficiency and for uh, designed to work around with nature not to disturb it and designed so that in someday we actually don't have to work meaning it's acceptable accessible to everybody so that's what he's designed in the future so that one day we can all just just we don't have to worry about survival we don't have to worry about competition we don't have to worry about all this silly creations uh, that we experience now and so that really you're only each person's only it, give, it, it opens up the opportunity so that it gives every human the opportunity to do and be whatever they want to explore themselves to explore the world without having to get a job or to worry about survival or all the other things, all the other stories that we create that really have nothing to do with our existence here, or shouldn't anyway. Not our true, our true purpose, I think, and so do many others, and obviously he thinks. So, a little rant there, but yeah, I highly recommend, uh, highly recommend you uh, check out the Venus Project and uh, help them out, spread the word. Um, amazing. It's amazing we have all the answers. We just, we just, we just don't, we just seem to struggling to take that step. Whether it's personal, we each of us trying to reach our own personal place of peace, we're struggling, we're, we're resisting. <clears throat> and as it relates to the practical world, we've had the answers for a long time and, and we keep getting more answers and more answers. And we just keep resisting. like we're waiting for something. It'd be nice if we stopped waiting. Waiting for the poop to hit the fan, waiting for extreme circumstances to push us to the edge to change. We have an idea what we, we know what we want truly. I mean deep down. The people are speaking. We know the life we can have. So why not do it? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? 
So that's my little rant by the tree. Uh, I'm gonna go see if my veggie weenie dog is ready. Alright, I got my veggie dog. And it's, it, he took a red pepper and grilled it. And, and the, the veggie wiener. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Then I asked him to throw it on a bun. And then I put some red pepper on it. And that's it. That's delicious. Juicy. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's juicy. It's good. It's hard to eat and hold the camera at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> So if you live in Hamilton, and you live anywhere around Lock, or you're going to be on Lock, if you go down to Picks and Sticks, which is, if, you, if you've, it's been a while, has moved down further closer to Main Street, uh, about six or eight months ago. Uh, so it's in a building that you can tell it used to be a, a type of church or something. Down by the ice cream place. Anyways, if you go there, you'll see uh, him there. His name's Jared. Jared, good dog. And so you can get meat dogs, or you can get uh, veggie ones. So that's awesome. And if you're not a hot dog person, there's a relatively new uh, burger place. I can't remember what it's called, but you'll you'll spot it. And <clears throat> it's on Lock Two. Uh, and they sell every kind of burger under the sun. But yeah, it's uh, it's nice to. Uh, it's been so long. I don't really miss meat, but you know, I did like things grilled. Although I'm too lazy to grill myself. I have a barbecue. I never use it. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have a stand now where you can go grab a veggie dog and wrap in a big red pepper. You can't beat that. I'm going to put the camera down and join my uh, dog. And thanks for watching me eat a hot dog. <laughs> Cheers.